This video shows you how to get started using the DevExpress Xamarin Collection View Control to display data commonly seen in list style applications. Before you begin, we recommend that you review our documentation. See the topic titled Add Collection View to Xamarin Forms Solution. You'll find instructions on how to prepare your mobile app. You'll learn how to add references to our controls, add registration code to proper places in the project, and add a namespace and control declaration to your XAML code. Let's get started. We're going to be using some predefined classes representing the data and models. You can find them on the Getting Started section of our documentation. Our starting project already contains a main view model file with the sample data. Switching to the main page, we begin by adding references to the collection view namespace, followed by the binding of the main view model. We then add the collection view object, which contains some basic properties. This binds the item source to the model and instructs the collection view that we are connecting the display member to the name field and to display it using the format of contact and then the data row value. Let's run the project to see how the collection view will render the sample data in our project. In the iPhone simulator, we can see the list contains all our data and acts like we would expect. Moving back to the XAML, we can now paste in a more detailed markup providing the layout. This is achieved via the data template. The layout is defined by setting up a grid outlining each of the fields to display. This time, when we run the project, the simulator will show the contact image, name, and phone number, a marked improvement from the single line data previously shown. Next, we'll add sorting to the collection. This is achieved by adding in the DX collection view .sort descriptions collection. We can sort by any number of the data fields by adding in a sort description for each field. In this example, we add the field name, name, and sort by descending. A quick test shows the contact data now in descending order by name. Okay. Back to our markup. A common feature is to group data. Let's implement an A to Z style grouping in our sample. The first step is to create a group description section defining the field that will form our group and the interval to use, in this case, alphabetical. Next, we set up the group header template, which will provide the look and feel separating the items. When launching the simulator, we can see each of the contacts grouped alphabetically. As demonstrated, the collection view provides a powerful way of visualizing list data. This concludes our quick tutorial. We recommend that you also review the demo application and learn about other capabilities available in our Xamarin Forms collection view control. You can get the demo source from the download manager on devexpress.com or from our GitHub repository. To review the app on your mobile device, find the free download on the iOS app store or in Google Play. Once you've loaded the demo, go to the collection view section. From here, you can see examples of powerful features, including drag and drop, this allows end users to easily reorder data within the collection view. Pull to refresh, a common way users expect to check for changes in a data source by pulling down on the list. A spinner is displayed and the underlying data is checked for changes. And finally, the infinite data source, where the collection view will load more data items when the user scrolls to the bottom of the list. There are full examples of how to implement these features in our documentation. And that's it for this video. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you have questions or comments, please leave them below. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified whenever we release new content. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.